I definitely did not expect to get this one today. Let's open up some Into the Englands. Hi everyone, this is Dee from Mushu Report and I'm very excited over here for the very first time ever. I'll be getting to open up Disney Lokana products on the official release day. And over here I have with me the Enter the England's Illuminous Trove and also the Booster Box. Now, I did not expect to get to open these up today. I actually thought usually it would take that usual couple of weeks to actually get these stuff into Singapore. But we will show a luck with an introduction from a friend. Yeah, I managed to find some today. So... I'm going to be quickly opening up, starting off with this Illumina Troll for this video. So for this video, let's put aside the booster boxes. I promise we'll be opening up for another video. But yeah, I want to concentrate on the Illumina Troll for this video simply because there's that much awesome stuff to go through. Now for the past Illumina Troll, we'll be getting stuff like these two deck boxes inside, a damage counter, this player's guide, and also a nice storage box included which the storage box I've always been a big fan of. I kind of use it as like an oversized deck box. I put my deck inside, my counters, extra sleeves, and all that kind of good stuff. But the deck boxes though, I never really made too much use of them because they were kind of flimsy as you can see, and they don't really close properly unless I maybe just force them to bend properly in a way. But yeah, I've been kind of just placing them one side as decorations. And then the damage counters, I think we've all tried out the damage counters. They are kind of small. I've been preferring my buy the same token counters for the, least, the last couple of months and I really use those. So yeah, the main one I would definitely miss is the player's guide because this is actually removed from the updated Illuminous Trove as well. And this Illuminous Trove, the player's guide actually so far, they have stuff like the story included inside, guides and all that kind of stuff. I've always enjoyed just reading through these, but yeah, it's also removed from the Illuminous Trove as well. What you'll be getting is kind of the same stuff for the storage box, but aside from that, things are different. So let's open it up, okay? And you've seen the seal is removed because I had to do a retake because some of some camera issues, but yeah. So I promise though, I got this far and then the camera went down on me so I never really got further. So this is the nice storage box that is for the Into England's team this time. You have your Piglet, Jafar and Stitch shown over here. And then yeah, you got your nice stuff here with your booster packs, eight of them for the Illuminous Trove. Let me put them all one side because these will be the good stuff to open up later on. And then the other stuff we have inside is the card dividers, law counter, and dices. Which for the law counter, it's a pretty nice small gadget to have, I guess. You can actually use it to show your law points, but I prefer to use the phone app. So this is something to keep in the storage. The dices is something I've been looking forward to checking out. It's honestly just that bit small. I hope you can see it clearly over here. But I they actually feel quite all right, I think. The feel is quite nice. And let me see. Mm, this is a straight up one, two, six. And there's supposed to be a couple with the design of the law, perhaps. Let me just go and check it out. A few moments later. All right, yeah, I checked online and it looks like there's no dice with the law counter. Maybe I saw some fan art thing or something. I can't really recall, but yeah, online it looks like just the very standard dices for one to six. That said, the quality, I think it's actually pretty nice. The design is nice. The blue dice with the gold color numbers. It is kind of light and a little bit small in my hands. But hey, I think that these are nice replacements for damage counters. And I think that these should definitely be used. So yeah, I'll definitely be putting these dices one side and bring them up for the future. Now, the other one will be the card dividers. Let's open it up and take a look. Nicely sealed. I've been looking for card dividers to add into my storage box and kind of use them. So yeah, this is definitely a nice touch to have, okay? So we have the Amber, Amethyst, Emerald, the ruby, sapphire, and steel. And if you all don't recognize these backgrounds, this is actually one of the initial designs that they had shown for the various ink colors. You can check it out on the wiki for the ink gallery. But yeah, these are actually from there and it's very nice. Okay, so 
yeah, those are the nice changes for the Illuminous Trove. No longer that deck box, which is kind of hard to use. The damage counters got replaced by your dices, and you got nice dividers to use to sort out your cards. And it's really nice. I hope that maybe I can get my hands on more of the dividers, definitely. So, yeah, that aside, let's go into the packs. The big important part. Let's see if I'm going to get lucky with these packs because there was a friend of mine. Well, his girlfriend actually opened two enchanted and three legendaries inside one trove so that was some crazy opening from that trove and yeah i'm hoping to get my hands on some of that luck as well all right so we have robin hood kakamora i will find my way magic room i definitely want to try this out as a deck louis quick patch and then we have raleigh has set my heart hydros Pyros, Rare, and Moana, Bond Leader, and a Cold Foil <laughs> Dalmatian Puppy. <laughs> Not really what I expected to get from my first Cold Foil, but alright, sure. Oh yes, and uh, the back puzzle cards, they got replaced with these kind of like um, rule book cards, I would say. This is the new updated Quick Start rule book. And yeah, I guess it's a nice touch for people who want to check out the rules but i kind of really like the puzzle cards a lot more they were very collectible and i would have enjoyed adding more to the collection but yeah moving on let's see here gizmo suit milo touch jetsam magic room gramatala neverland my very first location okay flint hut glomgo little john Okay, let's put these one side. And hey, 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 hey. Nice. Stitch Covert Agent and Saucer's Head. And a Cold Fire Baboom. Baboom. So, all right. Pure rare so far after two packs. I don't think my luck is going to be as good as my friends. So, yeah. All right. Chief Tui. Milo Ted, strike a good match. Definitely a very good card that I definitely think that should be added to pretty much every single Emerald deck. Okay, the Queen, Kid Cloud Kicker, Boss Orders, Wildcat Ranch, How Far I'll Go, Tedious, and more Moana? Really? And Stitch, wow. Duplicates, and a Foy Kakamora. Okay. First three packs, definitely not very good so far. And six rares. Okay, Olympus would be that way. Very, I really enjoyed Hercules, so yeah, this is a really nice one. I will find my way. Magic Broom, King Louis, Quick Patch, Prince John, Jafar, I've Got a Dream, More Sorcerer's Head, and Piglet Super Rare. Okay, oh, Cold Foy Sorcerer's Head, not bad. Not bad, at least something nicer. Hey, can I get something nice, please? A legendary, maybe? King Louis, Robin Hood, Kakamora, I will find my way, more magic rooms. Good, good, good stuff. Boss orders, Jafar, Raleigh has set my heart, Audrey, Starlight Veil, vale. Moana, again? Okay, but this is a different Moana, to be fair. So, yeah. Hoi, Moana. Oh no, this trove. Only one super so far. That is on the bears of all patch. Tinkerbell, with the ability to give you be our guest, in a way. Oh, Cusco Palace. And Channel Box Followers. Gyro Gearloose. Scrooge McDuck, richest duck in the world. And a Cold Foy Jetsam. Hmm. Now, I think that I'll definitely be looking into, other than the best inks per se, I think that there's definitely a few teams that people should definitely go and try out for Into the England. There's the Villain deck, your Titans deck, you have your room deck. There's actually quite a lot of options to build in terms of a team. And yeah, I, I really like this set so far. It's, it looks like a much better set compared to Rise of the Floodborne, honestly. All right. So let's see. 
Nani, Saki, Scrooge McDuck. This is the new, what I put it as, the new convention promo that's also going to be given out this weekend at in France at the convention. So, yeah. The bare necessities. Oh, Jafar. Jafar, Striking Illusionist. The crazy combo card to let you gain 7 law with a whole new world. So, yeah. Alright. Nice first legendary. And Simba, Rightful King, Kofoy. Okay. Last one. Something nice, please. Another legendary. Oh, Nottingham. Prince John's Castle. The funny thing is there were people saying that the translation should have shown King Richard's Castle. And, um, well, that's what the translation said. So, yeah. Voyage, Flotsam, Bestow a Gift. The very, very nice art for Bestow a Gift. Showing Maleficent and Diablo. Right? Kick Cloud Kicker, Miss Bianca, Last Ditch Effort, Rise of the Titans, Dive Bomb. Okay. Gustav the Giant. Ah! RLS Legacy. This is a nice one. This is a very good the location they can use with Jim Hawkins and Rufus Kofoy. All right, so that's it. So, yeah, for this Illuminous Trove, my opening hasn't been as good. I only got one legendary. Hopefully, my booster boxes will be better. But, cool, I got one super rare, two super rare, and yeah, the rest are all foils with kind of a few duplicates. But, yeah. Okay, but that's it. I still enjoy this Illuminous Trove a lot, especially with the new dices and with the card dividers. I think that those are definitely nice additions that should definitely get everyone interested to get the Illuminous Trove, especially if you can get it at MSRP. If you're like me over here in Singapore, where it really costs that much more in comparison to get a trove over the booster boxes, then maybe you want to consider and hopefully see if anyone wants to Maybe they don't like the dice or they don't like the card divider, then you can get it from them. But otherwise, if you're based in one of the official regions, you can get it at MSRP. Definitely get one of the Illumis Trove. It's fantastic. It's worth it. And it's a much bigger improvement compared to the previous one. So, yeah, that's my take on this for the Illumis Trove. Hope you all enjoyed this short video. And yeah, that's it. And see you in the next video where I'm going to be opening up two booster boxes at one go. Bye, everyone.